start. Okay. So, um, just in case I, okay, so, okay, so Melissa's on because uh, Sarah said she was having trouble getting on. Because the thing is, if you're watching the Facebook, um, okay, you're, you guys are all on, good. Then you won't be able to see the screen, but that's okay. I posted anyway. Um, all right, awesome. You guys are here. Yeah, because I was trying to prepare for today, but there's really no preparation. If we're going to do it live, it's just like you got to get on and you got to struggle through it. So it might be two hours long. You can watch the rest of it later if you have to break off. But I'm just going to do it through all. And um, I did decide to do uh, Sarah's because she's got a lead page up. And even though everyone will have a lead page, everyone will have a lead page. Can you take my picture off? <laughs> You look good today. You look good oh, every day. <laughs> Please. All right, got it. All right. So, um, take it off. It's off. Okay. I noticed that you edited your Zoom to include another cute photo of you and your puppy dog. <laughs> Actually. <laughs> All right. So, um, I don't even know where to start. There's so much information. So, <clears> we're <throat> going to have to do, we're going to have to make tomorrow uh, more about what I what I want to talk about for just the first 10 minutes and that is what I have learned in detail this past year which I never really thought much about which is called traffic <laughs> and I know that we know what traffic is and so not the aggressive driver I used to be on the road <laughs> but how we're getting people to our landing and um so what I'm going to do for just a second is, okay, she already has her mute. I'm going to mute, I'm going to pretty much mute everyone for just one second. Um, because my mind, I'm like having trouble thinking today. Even though I have this new coffee that's only 70 calories from Starbucks, guys. <laughs> and it is called the cold brew with squeeze sweet cream. It's like amazing. Anyway, um, so the thing about traffic is I never really thought much about it except how do I get people to know about my web page? And when I'm done with this, I'm just, I'll unmute, I'll unmute, but um, how do I get people to my web page? And so there are basically three kinds of traffic. And the first one is traffic we buy, which is what we're gonna basically go through today, which is create a Facebook ad to get people to our page and we're gonna pay to do that. And you can pay Facebook, you can pay, you I mean, technically you can pay LinkedIn, you can pay Instagram, I mean, you can pay Twitter, you can pay anyone. And so, and you can pay Google, it used to be Google more, and then Google changed their algorithms, and now it's pretty much like Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn. And so you can either, three types of traffic, you can either buy, the traffic you buy, the traffic you earn, and the traffic you own. And so basically, the traffic you buy is ads, and you spend money. The traffic you earn is when you partner with people or identify people who have lists of people you want to reach and you do something for them first, many things for them first, and then they in return share what you have to offer to their list of people and you basically earn your way into their list. That is the way you actually will make the most amount of money for the long haul and that's what I really focus on doing. And that is what I didn't realize I was trying to do this whole last 12 months. I don't know, my whole existence where I've promoted do it organic, do it without buying everything free. And then I realized you have to buy until you have earned your way into everyone's list and they all refer you, you have to buy. And so then I think you could do both at the same time. And so then you're earning that so you're buying it you're earning it, and you own it so you own it after you buy leads and you get them to your page you've obtained this list of people that you have a building like right now i've got a, a list of around 30,000 agents who have opted into a number of my pages that i can market to i own that list of people we used to own lists when i short sale marketed because i would buy lists from this company called blackbookdata.com and they would just sell me lists so I would initially buy it and then I would own it and that was people I could follow up with so we're either buying traffic we're earning it through you know basically I do this for you how can I help you how can I help you how can I help you and then one day they're like wow let me send something out to my list and see if I can get you business and or we own it which is after we buy it and after we earn it 
we own the list. And so I think that real estate agents never have the own part. So we're either always spending money on buying or we're always trying to do for others to get them to promote us. And most of the time they don't, unless it's advantageous for them. Um, okay, I'm on mute because I wanna hear you guys talk if you want to. And I just, we don't really own anything because we know, because we already talked about it. Real estate agents typically don't have any kind of existing list or if they do, they switch CRM so much the list disappears. So they never really own anything other than their existing clients in Google where they can frequently say, hey, do you think about buying or selling or referring? And so this whole concept was literally, I think took me 30 days to understand because I was like, what does this mean to me? What does this mean to a real estate agent? Well, obviously we're buying leads, let's just say from Zillow, that's how we are buying traffic, or we're buying leads through Facebook ads, which we're gonna do today, and then, or we're, the earning part, we don't really understand so much because we're always like, uh, who's looking, who do you know is looking to buy or sell? But we never think to say, who, like brainstorm, who can I write down a name of, like pie in the sky? Who can I put on a list of people? I mean, we're talking like, not individual people, we're talking businesses. Businesses that are related to real estate industry. Who can I put on a list? of people, my ideal perfect, I call Dream 100, which we're gonna talk about tomorrow. List of people who, if in the perfect world, these people referred me to all their people in their list, I would never have to worry about business again. That's like earning it. So first it's like identify the list of people that, who would I ideally in a perfect world wanna be the person that these people recommend? And so it's like, well, I started writing that list down and it was like, this was like a year ago. I actually did this and didn't even know what I was doing because I, we, we had started Forbes and I was like, we got to get business right away. Like we have to go from no one knows who we are to everyone knows who we are like right away. And I can't do this by myself. I can't do it. Meaning even like if there's three people in the group, we can't do it one-on-one. -on -one. There's too many. We have to do one to many. And so it was like, okay, I'm going to uh, sign up with CU Realty that's a credit union. Oh my God. 23 credit unions in three States. And I'm on their list. That's freaking amazing. That's like get one to many there. You've accumulated a list of one location that, that if you are in, you've earned your way into this list of all the buyers and sellers that come into every credit union. That's, that is enough right there. So you don't even need a list of a hundred. You could have a list of your ideal top perfect world three or five or 10. And so then I was thinking, okay. And at the time I was thinking, okay, what else can I do? Well, um, let me go to all the local condo buildings and, um, homeowner associations and communities. And let me stop prospecting the homeowners for a minute. Let me go to the reception woman or man, and let me start giving value to them. I brought them lunch. <laughs> I brought them like Georgetown cupcakes. I would come in every, I'd frequently, I'd bring gifts. I'd be like, Hey, like I'm always here. I'm interviewing people. Uh, if you know of any, if anyone ever comes into this association, this condo building or this community and they don't have a real estate agent, I would love for you to refer me. Well, these people, they don't have any idea that you're going to make 10 to $20,000 for one word to come out of their mouth, your name. They don't realize that. And I, I wouldn't say, it wasn't about money. It was like, I'll bring them lunch. What I found out was these people, these, these amazing people who work 10 to 12 hour shifts actually at these community associations, whether it's like a single family home, this is a receptionist that's hired to man the desk of a building. If you are working in an area that you don't have that, that doesn't exist then you have to find another way. Um, but anyway, in Alexandria, there's a bunch of condos. And so they all have these front desk people because that's part of their security value. They, we do 24 hour security. And so I would go in and what I realized is that I didn't know that they worked 10 hour shifts. And so they would barely get a lunch break. And so, you know, people come in all the time and they're like asking questions. Well, there's always a front desk person. They barely get a 30 minute lunch break. So every once in a while, I would just randomly bring by a lunch and I would bring it by from some business around the corner, you know, like old town, um, 
I don't know, just I ended up going into this one place so often, I ended up talking to him and interviewing him. So I started bringing this one girl lunch at the Orinoco. And if you guys don't know the Orinoco, they start at 8.50. And so I'm like, I'll be honest, when I first went in there, I was like, I'm just gonna be completely brutally honest. I did not feel like I was the quality agent that could list and sell and prospect in that community. That is terrible to admit. But for some reason, unless you have sold that one to two to three to four million dollar home in that community, somehow you're like, gosh, like they put on the show that's beautiful in front and there's all this stuff. So, so two things I did to bust that stupid fear was first thing I did was I did a community video about that community. I researched how many homes, how many condos are in that building, how many sold last year, what the average sales price was. I mean, I really was doing the video. And then when I first went in, I wanted to, I didn't want to come in with a lunch. So I just came in and said, Hey, I work, um, I'm doing a community video about this community. Was there any way that I don't have a property to show right now? I'm not even previewing a property. Here's my card. I would like to go up to that listing that's for sale at the very top penthouse. And I would like to, um, I'd like to look at it. And then I'd like to go up to the top where your rooftop pool is. And I'd like to do a little mini video saying how cool the amenities are here. And she's like, sure. Okay. All right. That's cool. I mean, we're realtors. Like, I don't know why I even thought that for a second. And so, and so then I went in and I did a little tiny segment up on the pool talking about the amenities, because unless you're in the building, you can never see that. And so then that was just a section of it. Then I came back down, thanked her, and I went out, out around the other side where Orinoco, Orinoco Park overlooks the water. And I did my entire thing there. I will literally post that video, which was me in the very beginning of doing videos, where I was standing there with a selfie stick. Yes, people were walking by, homeowners, random people walking their dogs. Like, I didn't care. It was like do or die. We had a certain amount of months to make freaking money and get our name out there. And it wasn't going to happen by sitting around wondering why people didn't call us. And so um, I went out to the uh, other side and I put the selfie stick up and I did my community video. And how did I know about the community? I sat down the night before and I researched just the exact same things I researched in every community video, the name of it, where it's located, like the literally the physical address. I did how many units were in the building. I said what the average sales price was at this time and what the average sales price was when the building first opened, which means I just went back to the history of MRAS because I liked to tell people these used to go for this amount and now they're going for this amount. And so that was it. I said the same stats for every community video to not be complicated. And then I posted that video out on my Facebook and then I boosted it and sponsored that video. And that still is one of the most watched community videos because it's Orinoco. It's Orinoco. And it's one of these places people just don't buy. They like to know what's in it, but they don't, they can't always afford it. And so the, the condo association dues run from like, you know, 600 to like 1200 a month. And just by the fact that I know that is only because I did that video because otherwise I wouldn't know all these stats unless I sold a home in there. So, well, well so I did that video. And then like, I don't know, a couple weeks later, I noticed the girl that let me up there was young and in the same position as all these other people doing front desk duty. They don't get a lot of breaks and they are required to be there. And if they don't, they get fired. And they're pretty much like 10 to 12 an hour job people and they're working their butt off. And if she refers one person to me in that community, I would get $30,000. And so I was like, first thing is my head is, well, I can't do kickbacks, right? Illegal. But I can, out of my own cash, bring her lunch. <laughs> and who says I can't give her a Visa gift card afterward because I care? But anyway, that, you know, that's like, it's up, it's up to whatever you want to do with your money. It's up to you. There's no agreement. There's no consistency about it. There's no kickback. So I came in a couple weeks later with some Georgetown cupcakes because some, I was listening to her on the phone waiting to t ask her to get up to the top pool area. And I noticed. I listened to her phone conversation for just a minute. She was on the phone with her mother and her, her and her mother were talking about how they got to get out of their rental. And um, they were struggling with this idea of, well, I, they didn't know whether to renew their lease or not, wherever they were renting there in Old Town. And I brought her lunch 
a week later and she was like first if you ever bring lunch make sure it's a nicely packaged not something that you might have gotten into and tampered with <laughs> because the first time I brought her lunch she didn't need it she threw it away because she was like what is she doing to me and so the next time I brought lunch it was it was from a, a place and there was and it was like yeah you could tell I wasn't trying to like poison this person <laughs> but it was just so funny because you never know the mindset of a person because they're like why are you bringing me this lunch and so I said, Hey, I noticed that a lot of you guys doing the reception area, you don't get a lot of breaks because I'm in here all the time. So I'm setting the stage for I'm in there all the time. Am I in there all the time? No, I lived in freaking Fredericksburg. And I was going three days a week, which was exhausting uh, to do these videos mentally, mentally, because you got to prepare the night before, get out there, you stress out, you do 50,000 takes, and you finally edit one. And then after a while you get better. And so I brought her lunch one day, uh, I'm sorry, Georgetown cupcakes. And she was just like, wow, this is like, this is amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. She, okay. Fast forward 20 days later, guy comes in from whatever out of town, doesn't have a real estate agent, wanted to see a place. Well, you can't just walk in and see a place. I mean, you gotta be with an agent. They're not, they can't leave the desk. They're not agents. And and who do they have on staff to refer? She said, no one. They're just, they is a receptionist. So 20 days later, this guy comes in. I happened to be in Old Town at the time, which means I was in my market area. That is why I say I need to live in and around the area because I was happened to be there doing another video and I got this phone call and she said, hey, Cheryl, you brought me cupcakes last week. I have this guy here. He's wanting to see a home. And I have a couple agents cards here that they come in and they leave. So they're not, there's they're the agents doing this, but, but no one ever brought her cupcakes. And so she's like, and I was thinking if you're around, you know, you could come by right now and show it to her. Well, I don't know if you guys like you do might know, but this guy, this guy, now I can't even remember his name, but he's the investor that I ended up helping three deals now purchase. He did not buy in that community because he was an investor and he just realized that with the condo dues of like 1200, it just wasn't going to be like in his numbers. But we did go look at the three homes, three condos that day. I didn't even know what was on the market at the moment. I literally sat in my car real quick and looked up Orinoco for sale, went on Zillow, found out what was on. And then I just took him to those three. And, um, um, God, I can't remember his name. It's not Malik. Um, uh, but anyway, it's the guy who owns a diamond mine in New York, who I hope, who I ended up helping him and his wife that day were in from New York. They just were walking by and we looked at three homes. He really liked me. He liked my open honesty, whatever. I mean, he, we, you know, just showed him both the places and he ended up, I ended up helping him buy a condo. So it was like more like a 380 and helped his son buy a place 680, helped him buy a second place 280, so total about a million. He might as well have just bought all three or Orinoco. And now his son's wanting to sell, they wanna to move to around the Verizon Center in DC and probably gonna help them probably in the next couple months because they're just like not in a hurry. And this guy was from bringing this cupcake. And so this was my way of earning my way into a community association where you know people are walking into every single builder, every community, every condo building, every homeowner association building, every clubhouse, people walk in, but what, what are, who are they recommending? And so there is like a fine line, like to go in, you don't go in and hand your car and say, if anyone ever comes in, tell them to, you know, they don't know you. Like, what are you doing for them first? Because I would never said, if anyone comes in, can you give them my name? I said that after the cupcake thing, the first thing I did was a community video. So I feel like community videos is the absolute easiest way to get in the door where people actually, you're doing something and you're promoting it. You're acknowledging you're in the area. Secondly, you know about the community and then you just get to know the people and you're not, you're not putting them on the defensive where you and 10,000 other real estate agents come in and throw their card on the counter and that's supposed to differentiate you on why they would refer you. So I started doing that to all the ones uh, 
Ford's Landing um, didn't work so well because Ford's Landing didn't work so well. So what I did then was I said, well, they're not being real responsive to me. So I'm just going to go straight to the people who live there. So I started walking around with my selfie stick, no kidding, and telling people that I was doing a community. I was doing a video about why community, people who lived in the community love to live there. And I do this because I'm a real estate agent and I like to do more than just promote homes. I like to promote communities. And the only way to do that, this is literally what I would say to them. The only way to do that is to interview you. Would you be willing to tell me three things you love about living here? I can post that video in the Facebook group too. And I'll tell you, it, that video actually was kind of funny because these people did not know what to say. So they said sometimes it was like dorky things, but it's okay because there were homeowners that lived there. The one guy was actually just a renter, but I did, you know, asked him anyway. And those videos were earning my way into it. To be honest, I didn't realize it at the time, but they were earning my way into the homeowners because if a homeowner saw a video of me interviewing a homeowner, they're going to go to me versus another real estate agent walking around handing cards out door knocking. So I did my stint of door knocking and I was trying to find other ways to make people refer me other than handing my business card out. And so this was, so when I got into ClickFunnels and we went through 30 days of learning how to get traffic, they were talking about buying it, earning it and owning it. And of course, owning it is you already have a list of 20,000 people that every month you can send something cool to and say, refer me, refer me, refer me. But what if you don't, then you have to buy it. What if you don't have money? Then you have to earn it and that's earning it. And so it's like community videos, interview business owners, restaurants, dog places, haircut places. I don't care if it's like great clips, you know, why would someone come to this great clips in this area versus the great clips two miles away? Cause it seems like there's one in every community center. And so that's really the three ways, homeowners, businesses, and community people. But there's other ways The CU Realty. How do I get in with all the credit unions? Okay. And then there was builders go to all the builders in the area and figure out what they need. What are realtors doing that they despise and do the opposite? What do builders hate? <laughs> they hate when real estate agents, obviously there's always a real estate agent on staff. So they would prefer to make that money themselves on the buyer end. So they just have these people at the front desk of the builders. And some of them are not licensed and some of them are, but what can we do to get in with a builder to where you're the one recommended? You know, maybe we create a free lead page for a builder and we drive traffic to that builder for free for 30 days. Spend a little bit of money maybe to get more traffic and then say, then you represent them as you come in or something. And, or maybe you just say, Hey, I've been doing, I've been doing a Facebook ad for your bill for you for 30 days. Uh, I've been, been bringing leads. All these people that have been coming in is cause I've been doing a Facebook ad for your, um, for your builder, your community. And I would like to be the person that you guys recommend because you know, they have other realtors and, and everyone's trying to do something, but I don't know that they're doing, we need to do something that actually brings people money and, or in the reception thing, in that case, they had no realm of making money off what we were doing, but they, they were hungry and they never got a break. And so it was like, find their pain and fix it. That's it. You know, instead of throwing yourself at them, I'm not saying you guys are doing that, but we all do that. You know, we throw ourselves at people and it's like, find out what their pain is. That's why I did the house cleaning. Now, Sarah, you got two, but I want to see, I, you know, I, I want to see them. It takes a couple days to post on Zillow because they got to follow the stupid like rules of Zillow where they have to say enough and then they have to le legitimize the review. So it takes like 24 hours to 48 hours. Um, but, but I want to snapshot those and post them and whoever else get it, I'm going to do it. I need four people. If, if everyone in the group, I'm, so I'm not kidding. <clears throat> if everyone in the group gets two reviews, like, and can prove them, meaning like we go out and we can look at them. And well, one of them, one of them is out there already. But it's one that. from last night that it doesn't show up. But she actually emailed me and said, Sarah, I couldn't get it to go on Facebook, so I put it on Zillow. 
but it's not out there yet. You're not talking about Tori because that was dated March 9. I'm talking about Tori for one, but Yasmin emailed me yesterday and said she put it out there. And I'm meeting Linda tomorrow, and Linda's going to be coerced. <laughs> that Tori DeZillo review was on March 9. I know. That's this month. Uh, Does it have to be this, this week? week? No, it's got to be this week. Because the thing is, everyone else doesn't know what last month was for them. It's like, this is the challenge week. Okay. Well, if Yasmin goes on, and then if Linda does it tomorrow, then that'll be my two. Okay, because um, because find the pain and fix it. We all need our house clean. And the thing is, like, I got a woman lined up for you. I got she's texting. Oh me well, there's another one that would put it out yesterday on um, Yelp. So okay, if Yasmin and then one in Yelp, I printed that one off actually. Okay, cool. So post them in the group. Like, post your reviews in the group. Oh, okay. Yeah, post them in the group because, I mean, I want to see what people say. Other people want to see what they say. And then that'll be like, got my first, got my second. And, um, yeah, I've been, like, talking to these people from Home Advisor on cleaning services. And I found this one girl that she's really, really good. Kind of weird company name, but um, $225 for a one-time deep, deep cleaning. A one-time deep? One -time deep cleaning, no windows. So... Uh, the only thing she doesn't do is she does not clean all the insides of your refrigerator and oven. Okay. And she does a microwave. No refrigerator oven and no windows. Because she said the windows is like a whole different deal. And she can't include that in every single one and all that. Okay. Uh, but anyway, um, <clears throat> and she is aware that you have five dogs and two people that are retired and live at home. <laughs> <laughs> and she said, oh, no, this is like my test. was like. Oh, and that was after she told me the price, too. And <laughs> I said, don't worry. It's, it's a clean. It's clean. It's I mean, none of them shed, so that's how, that helps. I mean, I mean, they don't shed, and they go in kennels, so. I mean, yeah. the, the thing is, like, it is our pain because I don't think we can, when we all, when every real estate agent works at home, I don't think that we feel like our mind is clear and, and ready to do, take on the world unless our house is somewhat clean. That's correct. It constantly bugs, in, in the least in me, it constantly bugs me. And it's like, if I think, if my house is perfectly clean, I'm like, all right, what am I doing today? This is amazing. And so, um, <laughs> all right, anyway. <laughs> so that's the thing. What do you guys think about the earning the way? Because then once you buy and earn, and earning takes the longest, but brings the most reward in the end. Buying takes the shortest time, but costs, but will always cost you money. Um, I mean, just have to identify a place that we can uh, hawk every day. <laughs> but it's not just a place. It's like, okay. A yeah, place. So, so, here's, so here's the challenge. Like exactly what you just said. I just got to figure out where to go. This is the thing. When I did the same thing, because I was like, okay, so I need to I need to earn my way into getting realtors to come to Richness Academy. Where do I go? So in this thing today, um, I actually, this is something you can do on your own, and then we can go over it again tomorrow, actually. But basically, in this list, I wrote out like, okay, before you say, where do I, what can I do for someone else? To get them to promote me, that's earning it. I would say you first identify what Facebook groups, what are the Facebook groups that the people you're targeting, where are they? Where, what are the Facebook groups? You got to research the Facebook group. You got to find where are buyers, in your case, buying who are active adults, where, what Facebook groups are they hanging out in? Like you got to do the research. And and then Melissa would be like Embry Mill or Stafford. There's groups out there of people and they're not all home groups. They're like people in Stafford County. What Facebook groups are for people in Stafford County? It could be that there's a, a cycling group in Stafford County residents only. It could be there's a sewing group in Stafford County. It could be there's like a knitting group. Knitting groups are like crazy right now knitting group all you're looking for is people who want who are in stafford county you don't care they're not home buyer groups 
go get into a group and identify people in the area. Like this was a concept to me I never even thought about because I was like, I don't know, how can I get all the real estate agents to come to Richness Academy? And it was like this, this guy, like Russell, you know, he was on this call and he's like, stop. He's like, stop thinking about your business for a minute. He's like, and instead say, where can I find real estate agents? Where are they congregating? Who cares whether they are buying coaching programs right now? He said, where are real estate agents congregating? And so it made me think that they're congregating in all kinds of things. There's women agent empowerment groups. There's they're not all strategy groups on how to do stuff. There are other things. They're like, there's a bunch of other groups. And so <clears throat> there's Facebook groups, Facebook pages. That's, you know, individual pages. But here's the thing. If you're doing the buy a lead, you would want to go to a Facebook page that, in my case, all the real estate agents are, are like, like that page, like Tom Ferry. Tom Ferry does coaching worldwide. He has like 172,000 agents who have liked the page. So I'm going to target Tom Ferry's business page and try to bring in people who like that. They're going to see my stuff. And then there's forums. I don't really go to forums very often, but forums are not dead. And forums would be like, Mute Sarah. What? Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> forums, will, forums would be, I know, right? Like, blah, blah, blah. and uh, forums would be like um, Quora and Reddit. And basically Quora and Reddit. And if you want to really get deep, Slack. And so start searching the Slack app for groups. It's called Slack. And so it's Slack app for groups of people who are just congregating around a certain topic. And I noticed that when I started doing that, oh my God, I didn't realize how big, I mean, I knew that Cora was big, but I didn't realize how many people posted and commented and literally did all kinds of things on Cora. And so Cora is like a, a place that I found most of my content of what realtors were truly struggling with. Because in order for me to find out what people are struggling with, I had to actually find a post that had a number of comments and then look at their comments. And so sometimes I just couldn't find what I wanted. But like right now, the number one, uh, okay, it's not a number one, but one of the newer groups, well, obviously for real estate agents, for me finding pains uh, for groups would be uh, things like, there's a new group that I'm loving this guy. And if he sees this video, yay, I love this guy. He's producing amazing content. You need to be a part of this group. It's called Lead Crushers, if you don't know about it. It just started. He's an EXP agent in Texas. He is dedicating all of his time, late nights, early mornings, creating content. And he does click funnels. And he does all the stuff I'm showing, he's doing. And I'm learning from him. And I want to learn from him. And what my ultimate goal is, I want to hire him to do all my Facebook ads. Not because I can't learn it, I don't want to learn it. I don't, I, I want to learn it, but I don't want to spend every waking moment becoming this Facebook expert. I just want someone who's also already doing it. And so I want him because he used to be KW. I think he used to be KW. He just switched over to EXP. I don't even know if he's selling because he's making, he's doing nothing but training called lead crushers. And, and so if I want to target people in a Facebook ad, I'm going to target people who are members of Lead Crushers, members of Tom Ferry, members of Craig Proctor, members of blah, blah, blah. Those people are realtors wanting to learn new technologies, possibly click funnel. And they're going to be people that are going to be wanting to buy my funnels because in order to actually use the pre-built funnels that I'm creating, you will need a click funnel account. And I know that's like a learning curve. Like what? Because otherwise like who would host it? you know, cause I can't host everyone's under my account. Just there's limitations, not to how many funnels I can build. I can build 1 million funnels actually. It's just that they all can't integrate with other people's email, and Facebook and all this opt-in stuff. So what he's doing is he's doing all this training. So anyway, what we're doing today is something that I got from him and the ad that we're doing today and the process I'm going to walk through in just a minute is the process that he snagged because we're all snagging from people who do stuff that works. 
is something that he snagged from the number the, the number four the four top fourteenth number fourteen Keller Williams agent in the world gets all his leads from Facebook using this Facebook ad. This this process and this exact ad. And we're gonna create a brand new ad. And um what I posted in the group, hold on, let me unmute for a minute. Can you still hear me, Sarah? Yes. I, I unmuted you for a minute. Okay. I mean I unmuted my dog. <laughs> you muted the dog, okay. So I muted dog, my dog, yes. <laughs> I posted in the group. Let me just see one second. I posted in the group. Uh because what I'm gonna go through is gonna be like, oh my god, oh my god. So it's gonna be a video. You can see the video. Let me just go down. Uh, th this is the post. Can you guys see what's on my screen? I just want to make sure. Yes. Okay. So I posted this before I went live because I was like trying to get in my mind, like, all right, it's going to be overwhelming. I'm going to go through every step, but this is the actual order I'm going to go through. So in order to do a successful ad and get people to your page, you have to be able to create the ad or download one that's already created. So I'm going to have pre-built ads. And when I say pre-built ad, all I mean is a graphic because the ad itself is actually going through the ad manager and walking through these steps of, of the stuff. But the, the part that people either get rejected by Facebook or have problems with or doesn't look good or doesn't work a lot of times is the graphic. And so it's like, one, what's the size of the graphic? Well, um, you know, I'm going to comment while I'm here right now because there's so much information, but basically you need a way to create a Facebook ad graphic in a format that actually looks like someone wants to click on it, or you've got your own video or something, but if you don't want to do your own, let's just do it the way the number 14th agent in the world with Keller Williams is doing it and, and it's working. And then so basically he got all this information and then he moved to exp which is kind of cool and now he's just teaching it um and so the facebook ad if you want to create your own needs to be in two different formats it's either it's going to be in this or it's going to be in this if you're creating your own this is it and that's because um and I hate having to look all this stuff up. This is why I want to hire someone because it's just all these details, you know, Oh, let me go to create an ad. Okay. Well you create the wrong size and you go to upload it in Facebook and all this stuff has to be done prior to then it's not going to be approved or they're going to say you need to change your sizing. So this is the ad sizing because one produces a good news feed and the other produces good on Instagram. The 600 by 600 is Instagram. And so those are the two that it looks like. So basically you need Canva and we do know what Canva is, but if you don't, it's canva.com and that's of course free graphics. And that's just where you can create an image really fast and free. And there's a lot of free stuff. And then click funnels because you create a graphic, you put an ad out, you got to direct them somewhere. And then bit.ly bit because a lot of times your lead page has this big long URL address and people like will look at it or whatever. It needs to be a really short condensed you uh, just em URL. And so um, bit.ly free, that's a free account. And that's just simply to paste the long URL and get a shortened URL version of it. That's two reasons why you want to do that. One, you don't want long URLs. And second, you don't want people, um, you just, you can customize the bit.ly because you don't really want to know some, you don't want people to know sometimes what the original URL says, you know, you just don't like, I don't want people to know the URL if I don't have a domain attached that it says click funnel. So I'll just do a bitly mini URL and it'll say whatever I want it to say. We'll do it today. And then you need a Facebook business page and make sure it has the name. What I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to create a little mini video on how to change your name and, and information in Facebook. So you can watch that and do it. And you need a credit card because otherwise Facebook ad will try to run. They'll prove it and it just won't run. It'll sit there impending because there's no um, credit card attached. And then, and you can put limits to make sure you're never overcharged. And then you need template for the Facebook ad that either I'm going to give you, or you can just create your own like we're going to do. So those are like the things. 
And this is like before you create an ad because, uh. because um, if I go in right now and I start to create an ad, it's going to say, well, what graphic would you like to use? You know, it's like, well, I haven't done that yet. Okay. So, um, so here's what we have open. Now, while I'm switching screens, I just want to make sure the share shows everything. Do you guys see the ClickFunnels screen? Mm -hmm. Okay. So sometimes when you do a share, you have to actually share the different tabs. All right. So we're, we have all of our tabs. We have everything that we need. We have a ClickFunnels account with a, a funnel. This is your funnel. It's, it's going to collect buyer leads. And it's just simply the... Um, this is the funnel. It's basically struggling to find the right home in your budget. Grab our list of active adult homes in Stafford, Virginia and price below 400. So our ad is going to be, this is why you need this ahead of time because your ad is going to be get a list of homes under 400. And so that's what we're going to do. So we got that. The only thing we need for this is we need to know this. We need to know the URL. We need to know where to send people when we create the ad. If we don't have this done, well, you're going to be kind of screwed on the ad because the whole thing revolves around where you send it. Mm. So it's like you have to have a page to where you, you have to have a page created to collect the people. And then the other tab we have um, Bitly. And let me move this down. But Bitly is like I have just a free account. I just logged in, Cheryl, Cheryl Spangler. And then you just literally the whole purpose of this is to say create. And so this minute, I'm not going to do it because I'll probably be pasting other things. But what happens is you go to the page that you have. This is your page. Now, I don't mind if people see buy.activeadulthome.com. But if you don't want them to see, you would do control C to copy that URL. And you would paste the long URL here, control V. And then it would basically automatically create a mini, a mini link. Now, if I wanted to even customize that link right here, um, I could say 400 or less. And then my mini link will say 400 or less. And then I could just copy that link. And that's what we would paste as where we want people to go. So you kind of almost need to have a couple tabs open. You need to know where they're going to go. Bitly to create a short link for where we want them to go to make it easy. Everyone wants it to look congruent. And then we're like, okay, well, we got, what are we going to create? So these are little templates in Canva that I, I can give you guys. They're, I'll just send you, I can just literally like copy the link to this Canva page and paste it in Facebook and say, my Canva templates. There, that's like my Canva template. Now you can get the Canva template. So once we, um, even though it says that, once we create it, that link will tell you, take you to these. And these little templates are just like, well, what am I going to do my Facebook ad? Well, these are the exact image sizes Facebook needs. And so um, we're going to create one right now. So I was thinking about it. You can do it different ways, but the way Canva works, I mean, of course, there's like over here, there's like in the elements section. Um, there's these, they're, um, they're like templates and I want to use one that's like, um, oh, uh, wait a second, hold on. I want to use one that, that allows us to do, um, three photos, all these things you can literally like cut, cut and paste. Like these are just things you can edit. They're just like text. It's just, if you're looking for, actually, no, I want to do this one. Um, no, I want to do this one. All right. I'm not going to mess with that. So let's just, let me do add a new page even. I, I want to do this. I want to do that because, and see how it's all stretched? That's just because this is the size Facebook needs. So I want to do that template. Well, we're just going to create this real quick. Um, so I'm just copying and pasting because this is what I want. So I'm just going to stick three photos in here. We're literally creating a fake listing. 
<laughs> that's going to be the ad. It's not a real listing because what we're doing is we're saying click here to get a list of the all the whole active adult homes under 400. And so um, I wanted to say new listing. I wanted to say uh, I don't think people really care whether there's three baths. So we're going to think of active adult people like a three bedroom, two bath, or maybe a two bedroom, two bath. Usually three bedroom. All right, so three bedroom, two bath. And then I have like a bunch of photos of homes. Like I have all these high resolution photos, but otherwise you can get free photos. You can like go to pexel.com. Um, if you want free photos, um, free high res photos, basically I would recommend pexels.com. If not, you could just go to Google and they have high resolution photos, but I downloaded all these and I'm going to, okay, so I was thinking of yours, and it's not going to be perfect, because you might say, well, that doesn't look like a house, but I have to pick something, so I'm just going to kind of go with this one, maybe. That seems a little big for a 55 and older, but not really sometimes. Fine. They might look at it and be like, oh, man, I can get that for 400. It might make them click on it more. I mean, because you don't want to do this. That's more like uh, got kids. Yeah. And so this one's like a high-end version. That's like Hay market 55 and older. Um, so then maybe we want to do this. No, I don't want to do that one. Um, but the goal here is just to show some photos because we're about to let them do the one with hardwood with the bar open concept. Oops, that is that one. If you double click on the photo, you can move it up. So let's just say this, and then. Um, this is getting to pretty detailed. That's why you're probably going to want to download my, my templates, but here you want to do element, um, graphics. I'm looking for just a square. Actually, I just want a square. Hold on background. No, no, no. Um, I don't want grids, that's my problem. I just want a square, and here's why. I want a square that I can go like this. This is, this is like deceiving and amazing at the same time. We're covering this because this is gonna look like there's more photos to look at. Um, we're gonna make it black. And then uh, we're gonna come over here on transparency and we're gonna like kind of fade it out. Hold on. Um, I'm gonna put a picture behind it. We're gonna have another picture. So we got the kitchen, we got the home itself, and we're gonna do another one. Living room. Let's just say living room. Hold on, let me move this over a second. Let me just move this over a minute. Oh, that actually matches. Okay, that's cool. I didn't realize those are like two of the same, but anyway, so then you take this thing and you kind of put it over it. And then <laughs> this is why you like want to take like the template and it's like kind of darkened. And then we're going to add the text. Now, if you want to look like a Facebook ad, you need to use the text open sans bold <laughs> because that's Facebook. Open sans. Um, but we need open sans bold. Just bold it. And then I um, want to make it like big. All we're doing here is we're going to do 10 plus. The goal, I know this is kind of crazy, but once you get them, you just reuse the same one. Like never recreate, recreate, recreate. It's like just we're just doing one. And Meaning, this is the exact same ad I'm always going to run. Like, I'm not going to mess with it. I mean, so you're going to, this ad could be run over and over and over again, but with different hooks? Yeah, you're just running this Facebook ad, like, constantly, nonstop. Maybe you realize people aren't clicking on it. Maybe, maybe you go back into Canva like this, keep this exact same template. Maybe change out this. Maybe you get another image of a house that's different. If you notice it's not converting, but you can keep the kitchen and stuff. So does this look like this ad right here? This looks like an actual, like you click on that 10 plus, you're going to get more photos, right? Yeah. All right. So um, we're going to, we're going to just download this image. So now that's done. I mean, we've got our Facebook 
at new listing. Um, and then we're going to. What if they call and say, I want to see that particular house? I would say that home is not available right now. The home's not available unless it's on a contract. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> um, hold on one second. I mean, you can just say that it's that that was just I mean the intro to the listing and don't think this is not going on every time like I have a client right now who said who saw something on Facebook I'm downloading this one image right now to like a JPEG I she sent me the link to the Facebook post and said I want to see this home like I want to see this home this is it Cheryl well it was an image like this because I could not find for the life of my life, I don't know what. There was nothing MRES, nothing. There was no address given. So I just looked at every single thing the guy said, and I said, this is not a real listing. So she did it. She and probably 50,000 other people. Um, and she wanted that home. And what did you say to her? I couldn't find it anywhere. I did all this research in Alexandria because it was like, there's no way for the price he put that there's that home. We already knew like what was there. And I said, this is not a real listing. This was something to get you to click, and you did, uh, but it's not uh, something that's active. There's nothing out there like this. And she's like, man, everything's a scam. So she was upset, but it just, it, you know, it, wanted, it got her to want it. So I'm copying this photo. I just saved this one graphic. Um, Ugh, I just gotta wait a second because my computer's like slow on this downloads folder. I have so much stuff in it. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna save this into a folder so that I know where it's at. And then I'm gonna sort by date. Proper listing template. We're just gonna call this Facebook ad test and then um, whatever today is. What's today? The 26th. Home buyer. I mean, I would use that photo for not 55 and older. I'd use it for any of our ads. It's good enough for any ad. And if, as long as you're not selling in condos or townhomes. Um, and then just go in here, go in uh, funnels, 14 day challenge, and then whatever today is like day 11. My computer seems to be stuck on that one screen. Are you just? I'm just saving a graphic. Let me just get out now that oh, I. Oh, okay, okay. All right, so I have the graphic saved, and so now what are you looking at, Canva? Now, yeah. Okay, so you see Canva. All right, so I, I just saved the graphic to my hard drive in a place I know I can get back to it. And so now we have a graphic, and we know how we're going to shorten the the Bitly, and we basically just want to go create the ad, and we know where we're going to send them. Oh, let's see if I can get to this right spot. Can you forward that? Oh, I just lost you, Melissa. Forward what? Sorry, sorry, I got a call. Um, can you forward that template template through Canva so that I can like adjust it if I needed to? Yes, the link that I put right here should take uh -huh. you right to my templates. It should now. We'll just test it out. Let me just open a new link. Like if you hit share at the top of the Canva. If you click the link that I posted, which I can do a share too, um, it actually brings it up. You can edit it right there inside your Canva. It'll bring it up inside Canva, these links, this whole set of links here, the whole set of images. Okay. Like in the Facebook group, this link that I posted is a link to these Canva templates we're messing with right now. It'll literally bring it up in your Canva. It'll bring the Canva templates up in your Canva. Okay. Yeah. So if you click, this is a link to the templates and it'll bring it up in your Canva. Um, all right. So let me shut that down. So now I'm going to Facebook and I'm basically going to go to manage ads. Okay, let me move this. 
me hide the thumbnail for this. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, so uh, let's see. So you might sh you might find you have like multiple ad accounts, but if you go to business, there's like business manager, ads manager. You want to go to ads manager. Let me just see where are they going on here. I like to see the pictures of everyone on here. Okay, so loading ads manager. Get to it. It's actually not that difficult, but I can't share. Once I create this whole ad, I can't say share that to you through Facebook ads manager. So that's why you have the video we're doing right now. You can literally just like go watch the video again and go through step by step. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's like Facebook trying to promote, get me to buy their services. Facebook actually has a lot of good training on their own of the, how to do their Facebook ads. They really do. They do, they do an amazing job. But sometimes it's just, I just want someone to tell me exactly what to do. <laughs> and um, all right, so we're going to create a campaign because inside a campaign is going to be an ad set and inside an ad set is going to be an ad. This is just how it works. Seems confusing, but you have to create a campaign. Um, let me just look at this one second. I can actually... Um, Now, if you okay, actually no, I'm just gonna go straight to ads and do it. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna just do an ad without messing with the campaign situation right now. The thing I noticed on campaigns is when you create a campaign, it requires you to put a spending limit of one hundred dollars, and obviously that's like spread over time. But it requires you to do one hundred dollars. If you do an ad, ad campaign, because the ad campaign is a series of ad sets with ads inside the ad set, and at first I was like, what? I thought I could just do $10 and you can if you just go to ads and so the reason like these are actually not delivering because well I turned the campaign off and second I shut them down with my credit card which means I just you know I have a spending limit of $80 and whatever I run when my card gets hit up to $80 it doesn't run anything until I go in and say reset limit and so that's just one way that I keep it. That you could do $50 or something. That's in addition to the fact that you can come in anytime you want and click this off of a green and a blue and stop it. In addition to that, sometimes we forget. I put a spending limit of a blank amount because I want my card to stop and then it will trigger me to say, oh, I didn't stop that ad. And so that's how I have kept my card from being hijacked by Facebook. <laughs> All right. So basically what we just did was create under the ad tab. So let's see, I was making notes today. All right. So uh, choose your objective, um, create a new campaign. We want, um traffic that is the purpose we want traffic and the campaign name i'm literally yeah. going to name it what it is um new buyer leads i guess i could say active adult uh so you could do a split test whatever you can do that in click funnels way easier they are both the same this is basically split test means you would have to have multiple images um, and different. If you wanted two different homes, you would create an image like we just did in Canva with one home type and, a, and an image in Canva, a different home type. And then you could see which one of the same Facebook ad paying the same amount of money, which one was clicked on the most. And then you can say, oh, they don't like that home. They like this home. That's what you would do for that. It just means more prep work. So if you just take one day and say, I'm not going to go do an ad, I'm going to just create a couple images, which I actually want to go back and do something real quick. Um, I want to duplicate this. I want to duplicate this ad we just created three times because we said 10 more photos. And so you will get a higher response in Facebook if you do a slideshow 
versus the single ad. So what I'm doing is I'm going to, I'm going to create three images that we're then going to use in Facebook. One of them, the first one is going to say this, get them to click on it. And the other image is going to be, um, And the other image is going to be just probably like get rid of, uh, wait a minute, hold on. That's the one that's, that's like image number one. Uh, and then the other one is going to be, it's just going to be like, a photo in general. For some reason, when I clicked on the um, link that you put in there, it doesn't it doesn't have it all set up. Like I have to create it. Is that how it's supposed to come? Like well, I can see the pictures, but it doesn't have like the new listing or three three bedroom two bath part. It doesn't. Mm -mm. Well, let me when I'm finished, I'll, I'll post this, the link again. Maybe it's specific. Maybe this little thing changes up here once I edit things. And I'll okay. post it again, or I can do a share like this, share with someone. Yeah, try that and see see what it does. I'll do that one, and then invite you to, I don't know what that's going to do, but um, oh, you want this to go to sell my house staff or no? Melissa.exp. Mm -hmm. Oh, Melissa got Severson. Oh, yeah, I got it. Okay. Um, okay, so I'm not sure what that's going to send you, with either one, but also afterward I'll post this whole thing because that might, these little things might change once I edit things. Um, all right, so what I'm doing is we got the first one. I just want three. I want one, two, three. And so let me just, uh, let me just duplicate this. Ugh, let me just delete this. All right, so I want the primary and I want the secondary. The secondary is going to be like, uh, more pictures of, of the property. So let's just say, um, gosh, I don't know. Maybe we just want this one. Yeah. That. And then maybe, cause we want them to be like, Oh, there's other pictures. Like it's not just like we said there was pictures so we need pictures. And so that's why maybe we, they look at this. All right. So that's our thing. And then I'm going to download these three. Picture one, picture two, and picture three. This is my ad. I literally just, you know, you want to create something that can be used. And the reason that we're doing it like identical, like copying, did that work? That we're copying the exact image we create on top. And you'll see why, because as a slideshow, you want it to look legitimate. All right, save these. So this might not show up real quick. I just need to. Paste these images because the whole pain in the butt about doing the ad is not creating the ad. It's actually having everything prepped and ready to go before you do it. Mm. You know, but what if you downloaded a pre-built funnel and a pre-built ad image and you just went through and said, okay, let me create it. And then hired someone to create your ads and said, use these images. You don't have to do it. I mean, there's ways, you know. This is just trial and error. All right, so paste these images. I need three, I need three. Plus, it's like you're not creating 25 of these. You're literally sitting down one day and saying, I want to attract people let me create images so three to five images. That's it. Like, it's not like you're getting 50 of these and that's not that hard. It just means we have to sit down and do something before we actually go post an ad. Oh yeah, let me replace that. Okay. I got three images that have like identical bottom things. And so now I'm back in ads manager. All right. So new, new buyer leads active adult. We don't want to do split test right now. 
Uh, I don't want to do budget optimization. Actually, don't choose as many things as they give you options to do because Facebook is better when you just let Facebook do it, actually. Ad set name is the same. Buyers, I'm just going to name the same. Buyers Active Adult. Choose where you want to drive traffic. You want to send them to a website. It's a lead page, but it's a website. Website, lead page, same thing. And you don't, uh, so provide individual assets. If you hear the word assets now, it's like everything's called an asset, i.e. a graphic. <laughs> it's like, I noticed like everyone's like, all your assets will come with it. What? It's like, all the graphics I created for you so you don't have to do anything will come with it. It's just the same thing. Individual assets like images, headlines, automatically create, uh, generate, optimize, creative. Um, that's dynamic where Facebook will do it. Just go down here and say, you want to create a custom audience. I just, uh, so we're just literally like going through. Every time I go through this, it's like I am not an expert either. I still have to read every single thing. Um, I don't have a saved audience. I want to create a new audience. Uh, so I'm just going to start with location and I have this. All right. So here's like all the details on it. Location is you want to do uh, Stafford, I guess, because there's technically like, if you pick Fredericksburg, Spotsylvania, you're going down. If you pick Stafford, you're doing Stafford, Fredericksburg. So let's just do Stafford. Well, 22406 is Stafford. So we're just going to do all of Stafford because we don't want to do all of Stafford. Okay. Okay. So because I already know how many how many retirement communities are there in that a quiet Garrisonville? There's none, right? No, but there's two in Stafford. There's Falls Run and there's Celebrate. That's what I mean. So pick Stafford County. Don't yeah. pick, don't pick a zip code. Pick Stafford County. Right. But I'm saying when you're doing this, um, I would just go down to ten. So you want the county within ten miles. But I'm looking for buyers, so. Yeah, you're looking for buyers. Okay. You're looking for buyers. Wouldn't I expand, though, by looking for buyers outside of the area to come into the area? I mean, you can expand if you want. So as I'm doing this Facebook ad, keep an eye over here on the right to see, like, what is your daily reach of how many people. Okay. All right, so maybe we do uh well maybe we do 25 maybe do 25 miles i mean think about that 25 miles though 25 miles from stafford is going to take you all the way to springfield yeah okay do you want springfield people i don't know well i, I want them to come down here yes um and so decide that they want to get rid of their Springfield home and move into something that has amenities and active adult living. Um, in my opinion, the farther we spread, the more our money is spent and the less targeted we are. Okay. Then go down to 10. This, to is, uh, this is, I'm doing on this ad, I'm doing exactly what the number 14th Keller Williams agent in the world is doing. Which is so. what? which is what I'm telling you right now. Pick the county and go out 10 to 15 miles is what he said. Okay, well then do that. All right, he said 10 to 15 miles outside of the county. So let's just say 15. Okay. And then specifically, he said, go to locations and choose people who live in this location. Okay. We're just going to experiment with this with some money. So, I mean, all we can do is say, well, we didn't get crap. Let's change it. Um, okay. Your audience location has been changed uh, to Stafford. Okay, well, that's fine. The reach is small. It is small. Um, maybe we do this ad in two locations, but keep the same stats that he said. So let's do Fredericksburg. And 15. And that comes up with more. But anyway, so let's do that. So people who live in this location. And then you come down. Do not change the age range. I literally have done this on every single ad. I always mess with the age. I'm like, I think 25 to, because look, we're looking at 
55 and older people. But guess what? Children are looking for their 55 and older people. And so, I, I mean, that's not something anyone told me. I just, I've always messed with the age and, he, and they're like, don't mess with the age. Okay. You let Facebook do the age algorithm because they just said, don't do it. Always all. I never mess with English. So the detailed targeting is, um, so actually what, what it is, is it's supposed to be 10 miles to the city. People who live in the location, no age range. The targeting needs, needs to be, um, this is people who have searched on homes.com. Uh, people have searched on realtor.com. People who have searched on redfin.com. Redfin that actually no 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 that actually put employees in there I don't want that um, well they have to have a house too <laughs> yeah but we want people who are literally searching for homes on these sites right huh. oh Redfin interests okay you want it so what we're doing is additional interests okay make sure it doesn't say like they work there their title and all that stuff and then it's uh, Trulia still exists. Uh, looks like if you put the dot com, some of them aren't showing up, but Trulia interest, Trulia. And then um, Zillow, people who are searching on Zillow. Now here's employee interest. I'll do interest. I don't want Premier. I don't want agent. I would do Premier if I'm doing rich niche because I want people who are Premier agents. And so basically this is our list of people who have searched on these sites and then so that's that and then placement so uh so wait not placement we want to narrow the target audience actually more we want to narrow it even more so we want to narrow audience that's our next step first step is who do we want to target people who have literally been searching for homes but that's not that could be people renting that could be people just tire kickers so you want the most response for your money you would do narrow it to um people who have inquired with mortgage loans you know people are out there is interest business and industry let me just see if that pops up right yeah interest business and industry personal finance people who have inquired about mortgage loans people who are looking on these sites that is a really high lead because they've literally been doing both and now they're like wanting to look at a home. Optimize the cost per, I just leave it, leave it, leave it, and then budget. Um, now this is like per day and the recommended is $10 per day. Um, but it looks like here you have to put 20. So in that case, I will not do a daily budget. I'll do a lifetime budget. And the lifetime budget, uh, let's say $20 lifetime budget. If it, mm, let me see what this has. The potential reach is 29,000 people up here on the right. Potential reach is 29,000 people, that's a lot. And um, that's good. So um, just because we know that, I'm thinking that maybe I wanna take, I'll leave Fredericksburg on, that's fine. It's just, I'm just curious if I took Fredericksburg off, what it would show as the potential reach. The potential reach is 26,000. I've, was that the same? Or what did no, I do? one was 29, one was 26. I'm gonna leave it as Stafford. Okay. I'm gonna leave it as Stafford because I think that we could do a separate one for a small amount of money and just do, so once you create this ad though, inside your ad account, you can say duplicate ad and go in and just say change location. You be sure. Yeah. Hey, sorry to interrupt. Um, and I'm a little behind because I was trying to like transfer those images over. But um, did you do get more leads? Uh, no, I did uh, go to a website. Uh, okay. Yeah, okay. I did. The, the destination is um, drive people to your website. Okay. Uh, so basically, I'm sticking with just Stafford because the def so that's still a lot of people, 26,000 people. Right. And even though the only reason your reach is saying 50 to 311 is because you're only doing 20 bucks, but if you were to 
do oh that's giving me an error because i haven't done the date yet but if if you said i want to spend a hundred dollars you basically will reach 200 to 1000 do you see how if ad on facebook has changed so much because it used to be you could make you could reach more people for less money and you know it's like this is like one of the reasons why narrowing the potential reach down is better because you the less people you're reaching the more you're going to reach per day with your money mm -hmm. so there's no way to narrow stafford any further it's stafford i mean yeah i'm just gonna leave it like that and so on this one let's just we're gonna keep it at 20 which means it's gonna have to i'm sorry that, that was ten dollars Ten dollars means you would reach twenty-five to one hundred fifty-five people. But what if uh, just twenty-five to one fifty-five, you get two leads? These, but these are real leads. These are people that are like looking for mortgages and looking for homes, and bam, you're going to give them a list of homes in exactly active adults. So there's, it's unlikely that you're going to get a lot of tire kickers looking for a list of homes under four hundred active adult and have already been looking online and inquired with a mortgage. They're pretty real. Mm -hmm. All right, so lifetime budget. I'm just gonna let's just say uh, 20. Let's go back to 20. I'm just gonna see how that changed this. It went from 25 leads, 25 to 150 to 50 to 310. So then you're gonna start this uh, today, the 26th, and um, no, 7:13 a.m. That's fine, whatever. I'm running for three days. All right, let's do. Mm. We're gonna run it at 11. This one will probably be done. We're going to run it today from 11 a.m. to 30 minutes. And we're not going to run it for a month because we're max budget is $20. Yeah. So, I mean, like, we're going to do from March 26 to uh, the 29th. Be better to run it through the weekend. That's a good reach, actually, when we change the dates. Uh, that was because the other one was a span of 30 days. So we actually want, let's just, we want to run it through Sunday. That's a lot of people. You're reaching like 1,500 people in this specific area. And like, that's pretty good. Spend $20, you run it. And if, and I'm going to monitor this over the next 24 hours, because if I don't see, I, I need to see results. I'm not going to run it for, I'm not even going to run it for five days without seeing some people clicking. I want to see what's going on. And like I've, I've started and stopped Instagram ads within 24 to 48 hours because I'm like, well, that's not working. Like no one's clicking. Remember I told you I misspelled the word challenge mm -hmm. <laughs> and I had let it run for two of the five days and I just ended the ad. So it's like, you got to kind of monitor what you're doing because you just never know. You want to see what people are doing. Plus you like to see how fast you're spending your money and you're like, wow. <clears throat> and so, okay. Switch to landing page views. Um, uh, there's something about this. So we narrowed it to mortgage. We edited the place. Okay, so optimize for ad delivery. I'm not going to mess with this. Link clicks. Yeah. Um, yes, we want to make this say landing page views. And the reason is because we all know people are click happy. And they just like to click, 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 click. I want someone to click and then get to my landing page. Like I don't want them to just click on the ad and they are looking at the ad and flip them through these photos we're about to upload. I want them to click through to the landing page. So we're gonna click landing page. Well, this is what people who are making, getting good leads are saying, click landing page. Um, we're not gonna set caps, we're not gonna mess with this. We're just gonna say run ads all the time. Yes, and I'm not even gonna do a schedule. I used to do little stuff like that too. Like, oh, let me find out the best time that people look at ads between this time and this time. When are people on Facebook? Just run the ads all the time and then continue. And it brings up, it sounds like it fell in the air, but anyway, we'll just keep going through this. We have to name it again. Buyer leads, uh, active adult. And then, uh, so the Facebook page and Instagram account that represents your business ad, um, 
you know, I've got the real estate funnel agency and home buying and selling in Old Town, and that's what I'm going to use because it's my only Facebook business page that's affiliated with like me being a real estate agent, and yours would be your only page. So yours would be, you know, this is just the Facebook page that the ad is going to be the source of to run. It's not like people are driving back to this page. If they choose to see from the ad, what page is promoting? What page is this ad from? If you go to my, or we'll go, the minute we make it active, we'll go. If you go to my business page and you go to the left to, to info and ads like we were doing the other day, you'll see this as one of my ads I'm running. And the only purpose of that is what's the business page that this ad's you know, sourced from? So then we, want, we can either do a carousel, a single image or video, or, or a collection, a group of items that opens in a full screen or two or more scrollable. We want a carousel. Because it's going to be, carousel is going to be three, three photos that they can scroll through. Um, okay, so then we want to not allow Facebook to fill in. We want to manually choose the images to download. Um, and the other thing is, um, oh, I'm just looking to see the edit the placements. This is the identity of who's running the ad. This is what we're going to be running, a carousel of ads. This is the link. This is... Um, you know, enter the text that clearly tells people what you're promoting. So I'm going to use, um, something that's really, really important is that we're not going to run it on the computer. We're actually only going to run this ad on mobile devices. And that is because Everyone from ClickFunnel personnel to people running ads to every ad Facebook ad group I've tried to become a part of is like, don't waste your money running ads on people's computer news feeds because 99% of the business is coming from mobile people searching on their phone. They're literally searching for homes on their phone. And we know people are doing this. They're not getting to their computer and sitting there. They're literally doing it from their couch, in front of the TV, from their car. So we don't really care about ads running on the computer. We don't want to waste the money. We want to do just a mobile ad. Um, so a video slideshow is what we want. So please select the media for your ad. Add a card at the end of your page with a profile? No. Uh, hold on a second. I'm going to remove that. So we have three images. And hold on a second. I don't know why this can do that. Automatically uh, here it is. Okay, go just rewind a minute. Don't choose carousel. Choose single image or video because once you choose single Im image or video, you can upload your images. And at that point, then you can say, okay, well, depending on how many images are going to show, they can scroll through them. So don't do carousel. Do image, single image or video. Create up to six ads with unique images, no cost. You can have up to six images. And we just created three. And I'm uploading the three that we literally just created. Um, can you still see my screen? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> 14 day challenge. So it takes a little bit, but like once the ad runs, like you want it to be right because you take all this time and it's like done. If it works, then it's just a matter of getting calls. Um, not if it works, when it works. All right, so we have the first image, the second image, the third image. We'll just add all three. Now here, it actually says image recommendations, 1080 by 1080. I actually said 1200 by 628, so let's see what it says here. Uh, so add one. I'm not going to mess with two other ads. This is like if you want to create more ads. I just want, I want one ad. And actually it does say right here, 1200 by, oh, that's just what I have uploaded. Hmm. 
Okay, so I uploaded the three. Hold on, let me just look at this a second. Add one, add two, add three. It's got the three images, but they're not in the order I want them, but. Let me just look at this one second. Okay, yeah. I need a new computer. Oh my god. I don't even want the the, the I don't even want the time frame it's gonna take me to get my computer like switched over. I don't even want to do that. But anyway. They keep pushing all these other things and I just I don't want to do anything extra. That's the one problem with Facebook right now. It's like every suggestion known to man is put in front of you. Test your images, try it as like no. Three ads, three images, scroll down, done. Let me just see if they're actually showing. This is basically showing you what it's looking like on the things, but I'm just wondering if it actually did the three. Hold on. Okay, here's why, why I have a problem because I, I'm not like, there's so much stuff on the screen, you miss things. <laughs> I chose single image or video and I get down here and I need to like, I was on image and it was only allowing me to see one. I wanna see multiple, so I wanna upload. Video or slideshow, I want slideshow. So I want to browse. I want to create slideshow. Oh my gosh. Don't worry. If you go through this video again, you literally know because it's taking me so long. <laughs> You'll be like, well, she went back five times. I'm already like, I'm, I get it. I'm here. I'm good. All right. So vertical. Um, this what, is should, what should the title of mine be? Um, it should be struggling to find the right home in your budget question mark. I don't think you even put in the title on this one yet, did you? No. Melissa's like already getting there. Luxury shrub or lucky shrub. <laughs> um, I'm actually thinking this is not what I want. So, like, um, in right now because. Okay, let me just end this a second. I'm just wanting to add these three. And it's like, okay, maybe. Let me just scroll down here a second. What are you trying to add? I, it's not, I don't, it's like not adding the image or maybe I'm just not to that point yet. Okay. Maybe I'm having a brain cramp maybe. Let me just do the headline and see where we can do the images. But um, I wrote this down. Struggling to find the right home in your budget. A brief description is going to be. Now, is that for all of them, Carol? Struggling to find the right home in your budget? Yes. Everyone's struggling to find the right home in their budget. So my headline actually won't allow me to enter that full thing. It says I only have 25 characters, which is weird. But I can add it in the text, and the text actually puts why would yours it's a facebook standard i don't know are you clicked on a video slideshow no because we only i only have one picture right oh uh, no we got the three pictures but it's okay i mean you can do a version of it um 
grab our list of Stafford also if at all possible like it's good to use like um, emoticons because uh, people click on things that are more like real anyway Priced below 400, so we're keeping with the landing page content. Grab our list of Stafford homes. Price. We can change it. Let me get the content in and then we see where we want to put it. Most of these homes are not yet available on Zillow or Realtor.com. That's like the keywords there. That is literally the reason people are going to click. How's that? Grab our list of Stafford active adult homes priced below 400. Most of these homes are not yet available on Zillow and Realtor.com. Um, these homes won't last long. And then enter the URL you want to promote. That goes back to what is the page? What is the page? Copy the page. We already did this, so we're just going to copy the bit.ly link. That is going to your landing page for buyers for active adult. And then we're going to go here and like paste it. <coughs> So where did that page come from? Well, her landing page. You want to know where to send the people to. Okay. So like my website, I guess. Your landing page for buyers. So, so basically, if you think about it, you're only going to have two landing pages at all, ever. Like if this is what we think about, this is going to make life easier. One for buyers and one for sellers. Now you may create a different look and a different landing page, a different hook story, a different page, but your URLs will always go to the buyer link and the seller link. Like if, if two months from now, your landing page says something different, it doesn't matter. Your link should always be the same. So uh, Sarah's always going to be buy.activeadulthome.com. Where we direct it to in ClickFunnels is up to us. The people will always know buy dot that's like your buyer your buyer ads will always be that and then your seller ad will be sell dot this is just a, a uniform naming thing that I found makes my life easier because otherwise I'm trying to figure out what the heck I'm sending them you know where am I sending them it's different every time right mm -hmm. and and so for you it would be, it would be <laughs> buy dot sell staff or what, what is yours I forgot what's your um, I mean, I have several, but yeah, buy. No, what's the one we set up to get leads? Sell uh, Stafford, my home, or something like that. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, we'll go All right, well, let's figure it out what it is, and it'll be buy.yourwebaddress.com. Buy.blank, and it'll be sell.blank. And so your sell.whatever is already working. You already have it. Mm -hmm. I don't want to open it right now, but... Um, what is your URL? I need to send you a card like I sent Sarah the other day. Did you get that email with that those URLs? Uh, remember I sent you I sent you an email the other day that I created in Canva for you to remember what you have. I don't know. And I'll show it to you right now. <laughs> I created this because I don't want to keep telling you what your URLs are. <laughs> I mean, seriously, like you got to know your own domain name. Here it is. I'll create one for Melissa. I sent this to you an email and it is, this is all you have. This is you. The top is you and the bottom is your market. This is what you have to promote. This is it. It'll never change. These are your. Resend it. Resend it. I'm not going to resend it. I'll go into my email and resend the email I sent. I mean, search my name. It came in. 
I'll resend the email. I'm not going to resend this. I'll download it. No, I already have it. I'll, it's in an email. But do you see what the difference is here? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Your domain is your IDX site is sarahsellsforyou.com. I'm not going to change that because we talked about making that to active adult, but I don't want to change that because all people of all Virginia may want to search your site. So it's like, who are you? Your domain is sarahsellsforyou.com. You want to get reviews from people you sell from at review.sarahsellsforyou.com. These are all functioning. Everything is functioning except your quiz pages because I added those. Your email address is sarah at sarahsellsforyou.com. But when it comes to buyers and sellers and leads, it should be whatever your market is. So you, you own the second domain you own, activeadulthome.com. Um, and you, and so I created a subdomain buy.activeadult, sell.activeadult, and then I did a seller quiz and a buyer quiz, but I don't have a, that, those go into a lead page because we haven't created some quizzes or anything, but they're available. But my thought is that if you only, if you only had to remember a buyer page and a seller page, it would be for your market. It would be for your market. Now, and I'm going to duplicate, I'll duplicate this and create one for Melissa because Melissa's would be. Your IDX site is, um, um, I don't, your IDX site is the uh, EXP, which is um, Melissa.Severson? Like, what's your ID? Um, oh, it's, it's MelissaSeverson.exp.com. EXPRealty.com? Uh, yeah, EXPRealty.com. And then, um, you would have, I'm not sure, because we, you have the Stafford domain, you'd probably do your reviews on the cell. I think yours is uh, sellmystaffordhome.com or something. Yeah, it's um, sellmyhomestafford.com. <clears throat> yeah, I can tell because it's got the star at the top. So you have a seller page, so you can do a Facebook ad for a seller page until your buyer page is up and running. So this is yours. And so then when we create your buyer funnel, it will literally, the only difference will be this um, buy. Dot. Sellmystaffordhome.com. Right now, that doesn't go to anything. I don't think I've, I haven't done anything with yours yet. So it's probably just going to go to some click funnel. Uh, random the phone page but see then you don't have to stress you're like well my buyers go to buy dot sell my Stafford home my sellers go to sell my Stafford home and now I'm, I don't have to sit and figure out what I own and what I have but um, but for but then you also have like a main IDX site you know for this but let me just go here a second um, let me go to scent so I know this is going to be like a two hour uh, thing, but um, hey, you remember when you were asking me about how your blue jacket photo is popping up? Yes. Well, I don't know if you just noticed, but when I went to search your name, it's your Google. It's your Google photo. You need to go into your Google. Okay. It's sarahsellsfree.com. That's your email. That's your Google email image. Okay. I bet if you go into your Google and click on settings, you go over here to settings, you'll find your where you had your photo uploaded. Okay. Anyway, if I search my send, let me just search send. I don't know if I sent you much since then. Uh, let's go. Let's go. Okay. Um, Here it is. I know it went to you. I'm going to set this up to automatically email you every week. <laughs> 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 That's not a bad idea for me to do to myself for some things that I keep having to remind about. <laughs> anyway. All right. Stop. It's a lot of information, Cheryl. 
It's like, I'm just okay, saying. So that, that's why I put it into this because I was like, all right, what do you have? Okay, you have this for you and this for your market. So you can just keep that like uh, printed and taped by your desk. That would be easy. Actually, I just um, photocopied it and put it on my desktop just now. Okay, so that so now I'm gonna do this for myself too because I have a lot of domains. I just want to know at a glance. Where and then you gotta search. Okay, well, where did I put it? So I just put it on my desktop <laughs> just now. Took a picture. All right, so I'll do this one later. But yeah, you have that too. So um, all right, so we're back to Ad Manager. Where do we want people to go to? We basically have um, so we got this landing page that we're gonna go to, and we created this bit link. And we pasted the bit link. I don't know about this one. I'm not going to do anything with that. And then see more URL. I don't know about this. Is like, uh, my gosh. We don't want to miss. Well, destination URL. That's where they're going. We're not building any extra stuff. Enter the link as you want people to see it in your ad. I mean, basically, we just could create the same one. I don't know the difference right now. Pixel's missing, that's fine. Whatever. I have to do that after anyway. Um, pixel is missing on this page? What is that? Well, remember we did a pixel. This is like advanced Facebook. If you want to track when people hit your landing page, every single thing they do once they get on the landing page, where their cursor moves and where they're going and clicking, are they actually opting in and all this stuff, you would, you would track. The purpose of a pixel is that everyone that lands on your page now we can add it but it has to be added after we do you know, we just have to add it it has to be added to every single landing page this is another reason why creating thousands of landing pages is not a functional because if you have one buyer page and one seller page and you just promote those two on and on and on and on this stuff yeah. works yeah. because if you so when you have a buyer page and a seller page right now your seller page basically right now in click funnels says uh, the seven things every home seller should be aware of to avoid or whatever and then the buyer page is this one that we're at right here so what i would need to do is uh i'll do it right now actually but you basically have a, a facebook pixel and so this facebook pixel is like this ad we're about to the we're about to run is gonna if the pixel of this ad is on your page header back code the code on the header then everyone that goes to this page who opts in who clicks it who goes to it will become a part of what's called the facebook retargeting audience and okay. so what happens is every single person that comes and opts in on your page they may not buy a home right now they may not respond to you they may never even call you back but they'll see every ad I put out there from now on. Yep. And but they will now be trackable by you. And so whenever you do another ad or you just run it again for seven days, you'll literally show up in their newsfeed and they'll be like, dang, this woman's everywhere. No, oh, I like that. You're just in their face because they happen to land on your page and now you have ability to track them. Okay. And this is why when you go to Google and you're like searching for a friend, for baby items to sell uh, to buy like a baby basket all of a sudden now everything in your newsfeed is as if you're pregnant <laughs> <laughs> it's like facebook has these google pixels and the, then the minute you land on something they start retargeting you with all the things around that topic okay so how does that get set up uh so you basically um I don't want to get out of this. But let me just open in a new link. But we have to get the pixel. So we got to get the pixel. Oh, I know why. Did we do this in yours before or mine? Because um, anyway, let me just, let me just move through for a minute. Okay. Let me just open this in a separate page. There's a pixel area, um, blah, 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 I already know that. 
Enter a link as you want people to see it. Well, we want them to see the, the destination URL, it's fine. Um, learn more, no, we want to, yeah, probably learn more. This is why you want to hire somebody to do it. Because it is a lot, it's complicated. Um, so I have this Cheryl's pixel and I don't want that. Um, well, maybe um, your ad must be associated with a Facebook page. I'm pretty sure I have it associated, but let me just confirm this a minute. I just don't want to lose what we have created. I don't know why it's not. Oh, no. I might end up doing just one image because I don't know, it's not, it's not placing the way I want, and so I just need to mess with it, and I don't want to do it wasting time on Zoom. So, single image. What I really want is a single image video slideshow, but, um, I don't want to choose anything crazy. I just, uh, I want that initial image. I want this one. Add one, I want to disappear. I want this first one. Yes, I want the one where it looks like there's 10 more images. So I want this first one. Um, I don't want to create crazy stuff, but I do want to review placements. I might have confused you by just not just choosing a single image and choosing a single image and moving past that point, but just choose a single image for now. Um, but anyway, uh, this placement is just saying all these things on the left is review placements. Review placements is like, where is this ad going to show up? And so we only want it to show up on um, we only want it to show up on Facebook news feeds and Instagram news feeds. So feeds. don't want it on all placement. Oh, it says automatic placement. Well, sure, automatic placement for Facebook means they're gonna place it on every single feed known to man, but that's not really where people are necessarily always looking. So we want it on Facebook. And we wanna uncheck these. We want Facebook and Instagram. Facebook feed and Instagram feed. I mean, there is all these other ways that you can reach people, but we just want, we just want people that are on their phone and they're on Facebook feed. We want them Facebook feed and, and, and those two. So it just shows you what it's going to look like. All right. So here we need to add in all this content. So now that I just changed everything, let's just go down now. Send them to a website. So if we were to go back and say, I might like delete this whole, like this portion of the Zoom to where we got to this point. Pick your page, single image. I upload the image. Review your placement to say Facebook newsfeed, Instagram newsfeed. Scroll down where you want them to go. You want them to go to a website. It's kind of, you can see what the image, and now we can see what the image is looking like. This is what I wanted before, so just I'm going to end up re re rewinding this whole Zoom, cutting the portion where we were figuring this out, and uploading that. But basically, we got the image we want people to click on. 
And so now it's like, okay, well now, what do you want? What do you want the text to say? Enter the text as clearly as people tell them what you're promoting. Now that's where I'm gonna say, um, and you're gonna see it populate like right now. Uh, this is the title and the domain, the URL is the bit.ly. Pixel is missing the spine or whatever. Um, and so you can see that what it auto populates on this bit.ly is what we have showing in the page. Um, I might actually change that because you can see that, hold on a second. Whatever you have as the name of the page is going to show up. Well, it's buy.activeadulthome.com. That's fine. Sarah Severson, Realtor XP specializing. Eh, that might scare people off, actually. You know what? They don't really want to know where you're from. Mm -hmm. uh, they, they just want to know. Um, yeah, I've got the same problem on Zillow. I sent you a text this morning. <clears throat> Hold on, my computer's like thinking. Um, I'm going to change the name of this buyer lead funnel. This is where it changes. This is where it shows up. I'm going to change the name of this buyer lead funnel to, um, hold on. Hot list of homes under 400 K active adult. That's what the page is about anyway. And that's another example of why each lead page needs to be very, very specific because all the things that pertain to it literally have to be named that. Because why name it you? It doesn't make sense. So no right. learning curve for me. Yeah, I mean, just like the name of the page. And you, where does that show up? Well, it shows up when you, once I save this, like I just did, um, my close this, that's the, that's the actual page. Once I save it and I say, well, let's go to the page. It's like any website, any website that you go to, it's still showing, I know where I need to change it now. It's, well, let me just, let me change it because I want to see it changed because the ad's going to run. We're going to put money on this ad. Um, my computer is just. Come on, baby. I like it. Hey. You know, mine does that too, and I have to constantly like clear my browser, like clear it the last 24 hours, and then it runs fine. Yeah. Yes, I know, and I have a lot going on right now, plus I'm recording on. Um, I mean, sometimes I just have to shut mine down and turn it back on because I've got too much junk. No, you're like, sometimes. Sometimes I got to call Verizon Tech Support. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. Jim does. I go, you need to call Verizon. <laughs> There's a problem. <laughs> That's your job. <laughs> I like the name of this funnel anyway. T tons better because. Hot list of, I like that. I like it a lot better. At a glance, I can freaking see what. I mean, I would click on that one. <laughs> yeah. I you click can, on my name. You can see how the name is so, so important, man. It's like, it's like certain things. But anyway, let me just go in here because there's another place that that like, that information is popular. I mean, I, is anybody else having the Zillow problem where we show up in Ashburn as a real estate agent? How can I get that to say Frederick Sheridan? I'm not talking about all about. You because need to go into your, you, need, Stafford. you need to go into your own brokerage where they have you listed. That's called EXP. Call EXP. That is something that the guy I recruited specifically mentioned, which is that you show up where you're located until you go into EXP, the back end. You can edit your information. You just gotta go edit it. Oh, okay. All right. So as you know that. Data, so this is where it was showing up. It's called it's just, it's called, it's in the SEO metadata that I had added. But anyway, let me just edit this so I can see the change. What the 
heck is this doing? Because I noticed that Tricia McFadden is showing up in Fredericksburg, not Ashburn. I don't know where she signed on or who she signed on with. Who knows? You can edit. You can edit your own profile on EXP. All right, how is a vacuum? This is it. Blah blah blah. Let's save it. I mean, this can be a lot faster if we weren't like going through the ins and outs and all that. But that's. I think it's important. I think if anyone watches the video, there. If I cut out the part where we tried all these other things. All right, saved it. Go back. Um, I want to go to your page and see that as the title as a consumer would. So I'm going to open the page I just saved. And I'm what I'm looking for is it right here. I'm looking for it right here. See this? When my cursor's over and I haven't clicked on it yet? Mm-hmm. Hot list of homes under 400K active adult. Now we can have it say anything we want, but that's where I wanted it to say it because that's what's going to populate. So I don't think this changed in the bit.ly, uh, but let's find out. Meaning I don't think that changed what we have it showing as, but let me just, let me just go to the, I, you just never know. So let's copy the URL we're sending them to go to bit.ly i am um, create a new one paste the long url press enter copy this um. and says where do you want them to go i want them to go here it still says sarah yeah. Real but it doesn't. It doesn't right there. Shoot, it's eleven o'clock. Hold on. Um, I don't know if this is because like I haven't saved this thing, and it's like re and it's like. Uh, let me just put the long URL in there. See what comes up. Just uh, experiment here. Now it's populating properly. So Hot me, list of homes under, okay. All right, so see, like that's more attractive. They're actually gonna see that. Mm -hmm. But I really want that link to be, I guess it doesn't matter. I mean, this is, what URL do you want them to go to? They're not seeing that URL. They're seeing this buy.activatehome.com, so I don't care if it's a long one. Why do I need a bit.ly there? I don't need a bit.ly right. there. Right, right. All right, so the headline, um, we kind of already have it, which is the struggling. To find the right home in your um, No, we're going to say, I'm literally following this guy like word for word here, but your stuff. Um, um, Stafford Active Adult Homes under 400K. Oh, yeah, I could have done that. But I still wanted that back thing changed anyway because it's what shows up if you come up here. I want people to not see your name. It's not important. It's only right. really important that they like see every single thing saying the same thing. So learning this headline will replace what we just saw. But Stafford Active Adult Homes under 400. And then um, the call to action would be, yeah, learn more. And then just display link, but uh, yeah, I'm not gonna mess with display links. Newsfeed description, which is kind of where I wanted to put this grab. Newsfeed? I'm so confused. Well, I'm just seeing if it populates anywhere or not. I'm wanting the content, these words to be under here. So grab our well, actually, it wouldn't be there because it's not really populated. Newsfeed link description. Um, let me just put, let me just finish it and then um,
not even available. Filter.com. Um, and then the only way for me to know if this is going to work or not is to literally use one that did work in our area and say, wow, that worked or didn't work. If I change one thing, I'm, I'm literally changing like the whole thing because I know this has brought thousands of leads to another person. So I have to do it identical because otherwise I won't know. Um, so I'm going to copy this because I want this content. So this is a newsfeed description, but I really want it. Um, I want it up here because I want it, I want it to show up under struggling to find the right home in your budget. And I want to see it because they show you a preview of the ad right here. There. So this is what people will see. Ah, uh, I see a trick and I see why they did that now. When I was looking at the thing, like, see how that showed up as a URL? Where? Right here. See how this realtor.com shows as a, a clickable link? Yes. I don't want that. I do not want them to go there. I want them to go to me. So I noticed in the ad creation, I wondered why this was like this. There was a space between the realtor.space.com. They wanted them to know it was realtor.com, but they don't want them to go to realtor.com. Mm. So it's realtor space. It's just a way for you. If, if you type um, it together, if you type it together, it's going to be the URL link. It's like I'll automatically Google URLs it, right? It links it. But I'm just, I'm just saying this is just an administrative notation. I okay. noticed when copying, cloning the ad, when I looked at the content, there was a space between realtor.com and I'm like, oh, he left spaces. Now I know why. He does not want people to go to realtor.com <laughs> because it will automatically create a clickable link. So he, okay. like, he like masterfully added these spaces so that people know it's still talking about realtor.com but not allowing them to go to it. Okay. Brilliant. So um, then he's like, okay, these homes didn't last long. And then um, here is where I am literally going to add, because this is exactly how it was. Um, shoot, I don't want to click on that. I'm going to go to the bit.ly and I'm going to create one. I want this to, you know, I just want to paste this and make it short. And I want to put it in here. Because that's going to allow them to click on your landing page or click learn more. Mm. Either they can click learn more or they can click on the link, but either way they're going to your page. So it's HTTP slash BIT. You don't have to worry about that. That's just what we created as a short link to your page. It's taken them to this buy.activeatallhome.com. Okay. I mean, I could say buy.activeatallhome.com, but I'm just, people seem to click on these little short links. That's why Bitly exists. Um, okay, so. We have our description. So you know what the, here is where you can struggle with stuff or not struggle because you know what the ad's going to look like. Facebook is amazing. Like you can do this. This is it. Uh, learn more. Grab our stuff. We got that. We got the description. I made it more difficult than it is because we had to go back and change things. But um, one thing that I take the time to do that I'm going to take the time to do right this second is I like to document what I do and what I create. I don't want to have to go back and do it later. So I'm literally right now going to open up the app if my computer doesn't completely shut down. Um, Snippet, which is a free built into Windows way for you to grab photos online. I'm just going to create, open up Snippet and Grab a little snapshot of this ad. I want the, I want to know what I want this ad. I want to be able to post this ad on our page. I'm going to say we posted this ad today and we're going to monitor what it's looking like. And so I'm just opening up snippet. And if you don't, don't bother, don't bother downloading some free, you know, 
how do I snapshot a photo online just it's built into your computer? It's called Snippet, but I just want to grab it like this because I want to know like. Why you snag it? Yeah, snag it, but you got to pay for snag it right now. Not, well, I know, but I already paid for that. All right, so I'm just grabbing an image of this ad because I want to show proof of how we went through this. Like, this is the ad we did. And the only way to do that is to go find the ad on the internet in Facebook or to grab a little snapshot of it. I'm just going to save it on this day 11. Like that's your Facebook ad. Okay, done. Just one because otherwise I'm gonna have to go back in my Facebook and open it up and view an image and save an image and I'd rather do it right now. So then let me confirm this, please. Like work. It's like I'm so used to so many programs having timeouts that I'm like paranoid about saving. A click funnel has that. You need to save frequently. Okay. Your ad is literally done, and it did not come up and say, error, error, <laughs> because we used the right image size and everything. So in review is basically, so basically, if you're creating an ad that doesn't conform to their standards, it's going to go through review, and then within like six, eight, nine, ten hours, it's going to come back and said, rejected. I mean, I have someone right now who I did not create an ad for, who tried to just sponsor their the seven things to avoid when selling your home post and, and Facebook rejected it. They won't let, allow that to be sponsored. Why? I don't know. It was Vince. He has a lead page and it's seven things to avoid. We all have, we have it, but he tried to just go boost that post and it didn't work. I don't know. Facebook rejected it. He's like, it, it's not working. I'm like, I can't guarantee that every post is going to be accepted on a sponsored ad, but if you post an actual ad that you created like this, it's meant to be an ad and they're going to review it for proper form and content and graphics. I mean, I don't know. I don't know the answer to why that got rejected. Maybe it's just too much. Maybe they just don't like the way it looks. Maybe they think it's too salesy. Whereas now, this now active. No, see, it says in review. Oh, I mean, once they review it. Once they review and make it active, then it will spend up to $20. Yes, it'll start running. Like, because I have a credit card in there, so it'll just run. Okay. And um, um, so I'll know when it gets accepted because I will know because Facebook will tell me. Did you send those images to us? Well, I posted in Facebook group a link to Canva. Okay. I, I used to have Canva, but I don't anymore. You do, actually. You probably, you can log into it. I mean, I must have, did I shut down on Facebook? I'm not sure. I might have, oh no, I'm just right here. Okay. So it's in review and when it gets accepted, uh, just let me go to my personal news feed for a minute. So uh, I just need to wait for my buy that. So you can use the buyer ad. Right. I'm going to get that done today because it's going to be real easy. I, I've cloned hers and yours is sitting there. I just need to add just really just a couple things. It's not a big deal. Um, so right here is where this notification is where it'll say your ad was approved. It'll pop in as a notification to me. So, I mean, on my phone or wherever, like I'll know the minute it does it. The minute that it's either going to show Facebook has approved your ad and it'll pop in then as a notification or it'll say Facebook has rejected your ad. Click here to find out why. Now, let me ask you this. So the ad starts running and if there's a lead that it comes right to your email then based on the buyer lead page. Well, so the, then if, you provide the MRIS group. Well, of, here's the, okay. So yeah. So if the, if the lead, we're going to be able to see the clicks, the click throughs. The question is getting them here is one thing you want to get them to this button. And so you can't, you know, it's up to them to do that. They have to get to the page. That's your Facebook ad that gets them to the page, which is why we chose 
landing page views because a landing page view is where you have an ad, you send them to a page, but sending them to this page isn't gonna do crap for getting a lead unless they actually click on grab a list of homes. Okay. Because we know that grab a list of homes is gonna require them to log into Facebook, which means you now have an email address you can follow up with. Okay. And so if they go to this page, um, our Facebook stats are gonna show lead page views, landing page views only if they click this button. If we had chosen to for Facebook to track click-throughs, it would only track clicking to this page. Okay. And if we say track landing page views, that means it's after they click, what do they do, they do anything after that? So if now if I'm, a, if I'm a homeowner and I'm like, well, first of all, that page we were just on, uh, it is, it is identical in content and words to our ad, which is really, really important because they get here and they're like, okay, I'm on the right page. I'm struggling to find the right budget. It's exactly what I had. Grab our list of active adult homes. It's exactly what the ad said. I'm on the right page. Like they don't know. Mm -hmm. We send them places and our words say something different and they, they're just confused. And mm -hmm. so now we're like, grab a list of homes. Well, I'm already logged into Facebook, so it's not asking me to log in, but otherwise it would ask them to log in. Okay. And the minute that they log in, okay, I'm just going to stay on that for a minute. The minute they log in, this is inside ClickFunnels. You get a new lead that shows up immediately. Okay. Click that's funnels. the picture I want to get rid of. That's your email address. I don't know what that is. You're gonna. I don't know what that is. That's like a picture affiliated with your email somewhere on somewhere. I mean, because that is so old. So anyway, you're sending them to the page. They click on this button, the blue button. You get a lead. You you do not get. You don't get an email that says you have a lead. Do this. Do that. I just know that if they click that blue button and log in, you now have an email address to follow up with. Okay. But if they go further to say, if they click the blue button, you have their email. If they click the blue button, this is what they're gonna get. They have to go through this to get to another step for you to get their phone number. Okay. Did you go through this funnel of yours all the way through? I didn't go to this page, I don't know why. Because you probably just looked at your main page and never clicked her. Okay. Um, but I mean, you really need to know like what your entire funnel looks like. Right, I do. I'll go through. All right. So this says grab a list of active adult homes. So then they get to this page and they're like, okay, well, they just logged in. They just logged in. The other button just logged them in. Now they're like, help us narrow down the list so we only send you relevant homes by answering a few questions. Well, the, the, the fact is they already clicked on something that was a three bedroom, two bath, show me 400 or less, but we're going to ask them again. Three bedroom, two bath, three to 400 right now. And then it's like, let's get you that list. And it's like, where should I text the link? Well, I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to do a different name. Girl Pangler. <laughs> and that's exactly what they'll do too. <laughs> and and I'm going to do my a fictitious name and number like they always do. <laughs> and I'm going to do my phone number. So at this very second is when you will actually get someone that you can call back and say, hey, I noticed that you, but no, no, this is, let's get the list to you. Where should I text the link to the list? So it's literally saying, I'm going to ask you for your phone number, but I'm not going to call you. I'm going to text you a, a link of homes right now. And then they're like, give me the list. But then they know who you are now. They know your name. They know that they could text you right now anyway. So that's good because you're not, you're not deceiving them. You're just getting them to the page. And then they're like, I want this list. And so give me the list. And it basically just adds that to a lead, emails you. It should email you. You should get an email here in, the, in a minute with my name and phone number. And then it takes them to the thank you page and says your list is, your list of homes is on the way. And like, you can rest easy that we can't wait to get to know you and exceed your expectations. In the meantime, be sure to check out our other featured homes. This is where you would link your EXP IDX site. Only if you want them to continue browsing around on your stuff. 
So I'm not worried about this right now. Text us now for immediate response. I have this button set up to text you. If you click it, right now it's trying to open up like an app I have on my phone that does texting or something. But if they're on their mobile phone, which is where we're running all these ads, it'll just open up their mess. Like we need to do this from our phone. It will open up their, their text messaging and it'll prompt to, to text message you. Okay. So we kind of need to run through this funnel from our mobile phones and experiment with it because run all the way through, put in your name, put in your email and, and get to this thank you page. Because when you get to the thank you page, it's like, don't want to wait. It's like, I don't want to wait. Text this person right now. So it's like you click on it, but it's right now it's just trying to open up a text app from within my computer. But if you're on your phone, it will open up a text message already with your number populated in it and they just got to type something for you. Okay. So all these pages, like you don't really need to know how these, like all the details, details, all, all the thing is you should have an email with a lead and my name should be on it right now. And also you have their email address, but if they never got to the point of putting in their phone number, you still have their email. Either way, you still have a way to contact them. Hmm. I, I don't have, let me see. I don't have anything yet. Because what I have it set up as is when someone, and maybe I need to do this. Maybe I didn't do this. Let me just see. Yeah, no, it's not coming to me. I have, okay, so I got the opt-in and I got the survey. When people get the survey, they complete it. And when they're done with the survey, it says that I, I'm adding the buyer who put their information in to a list called Sarah Severson Buyers. And then I'm emailing. I have it set up to where any new lead that comes in, it notifies you and make sure Sarah at Sarah.com. You said when you did the funnel, you got an email. That's why I asked you that one day. I didn't get one now. Check your spam because I've already opted in many times to you. I don't know. Um, I'd have to do... Because I'm logging in through Facebook, it already has my email address attached to me, so I can't log in through another email. This is actually the brilliance of this lead page because they can't fake an email. It literally grabs their Facebook login email. Yeah, that's awesome. So I can't even go through this funnel again with another email address because it logged me in through Facebook. Honestly, Cheryl, it's not showing up. But you told me that you got an email when you did it. I'm on, I, I, yeah, I think I did. Yeah, it came to me. But, but you said you didn't go through the funnel all the way. So I'm confused if you got what you think you got because you said you never went through the funnel and clicked the button and then you said you got an email. So I'm not sure what you really got. Okay, well, it's not coming to me. I'm not getting it. And you checked your spam. Yes, I checked my spam. Okay. Junk. Let me email, Junk on my phone. Let me email myself the new lead. Oh, wait. Here it is. Oh, okay. Go, 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 go. All right. What did it show up as spam? Uh, trash. Showed up as trash. <clears throat> so I'm going to have to watch. It actually it, showed, up it out there and put it in showed up as junk. Box. So which we'll is, it, okay, so we'll what do you have? Junk, spam, trash, or all three? It, can't, it showed up as junk. Okay, you need to make sure that the from sender, which is not me, not you, but the click funnel, you need to make sure that you do say this is not junk so that it's going to come from this exact same thing every time. Okay. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't know where to say that, though, on my phone. I know where to do well, it on For example, uh, do you see my email right now? Yes. I have spam and trash. I don't have a junk, so I don't know where your junk stuff is. Oh, yes. Well, probably just the spam is called junk. 
All right, so you're talking, it went in spam then. Yeah. All right, so if it, went in, if it went in spam, and this was, let's just say went in spam, this is the email, dang, it went in spam. All right, so now we got to, um, Click on it, and it says straight up right here. Why is this message in spam? It is similar to messages that were not identified. Well, it does that on the computer, but on the phone, it doesn't give you that option. Well, go set it up on the computer because it's only got to do it once. Okay, let me go. I mean, you got to go over here and you got to say, you know, it's not spam. You got to say it's not spam. I got to go, Cheryl. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna end this in two seconds. But yeah, okay. we can review later. All right, thank you. Bye. Bye. So, so if, if you got to go to a computer, but this is like just regular email stuff, but you got to go to a computer, you got to open up the thing you don't want to be spam. You got to go up here and you got to X off spam. And then from then on, every single message you get from that sender will not be spam. Okay. But the thing is now you're going to have to check your spam folder and, unless you do that. You're going to have to check your spam folder every single day because you're not going to know when you get leads. Right. Let me go. It's spam on my computer. I don't know why it says junk on my phone. Because that's just the way your phone does it. I didn't know you were doing it from your phone. Well, you said do it from your phone to make sure. So anyway, that's it. I haven't got yours approved yet. Oh, oh, that's just a new like. When it gets approved, I'll let you know so you know that it's running. Okay, notifications, replay notifications dot click funnel. Why is this message not spam? Report not spam, correct? Right. Now, will it, will everything come to my inbox now? I don't know, because I'm not literally watching your screen, so I can't verify what you're actually clicking on. I just, honestly, like, I don't know. You just have to say it's not spam. Okay. And you got to look to see, you know, what is, where does it say it's coming from? Well, spam on my computer, but it was junk. No, I mean, where does like go into the email that was spam and look at the from email? Where does it say it's coming from? Uh, it actually said click funnels. Okay, every lead's gonna come from there. So yes, you have to whitelist click funnels. You got to say that's not spam. Okay. And it will remember it's not spam. Okay. And the way to test that out is to go through your own funnel and do it again. That's it. I mean, the only way to do it is to test the stuff. Yeah. Um, the other question I have is, um, so Yasmin and um, what's her name that put it on the other website said that they couldn't get it to go on Facebook. They could only get it to go on um, Zillow and um, what's the other one? Run, have you run through your own review ad? Yeah. I mean, I, you've gone through your review thing? I got, I'm going to have to do it again because evidently the Facebook portion is not working. It's working. They just well, probably they, didn't post anything. You got to remember. They before. did because they posted it. What was the other place, Cheryl? Um, there was Zillow, Google, Yelp, and Facebook. Yelp. So the new one is posted on Yelp. And then Yasmin said she posted on Zillow, which isn't up yet. I did go on Yelp. It's posted on Yelp two days ago. So <clears throat> I'll go in and copy that. I would, I, would, I would almost like put money on the fact that Facebook works perfectly. It just didn't pop up as pretty and easy as the others did. I know okay. that. I know that because if you go to the good and you say Facebook and say review me on Facebook, this is yours. That's why it didn't work because we have not changed your Facebook edited name and changed it in the review funnel. I'm confused. Have you changed your Facebook to say, to stop saying Stafford Lakes and start saying the name of your domain name? No, because I didn't know how to do it. You were going to come over and help me and then you. All right, well, let's do it right now. Let's do it right now. Okay. So you're watching me do it. Let's do it. All right, well, let me go into... I got to, you know, I can't. It's 11.30. I just, we got to get past this. Okay. Well, I mean... All right, you're not near a computer right now. I am. I'm on a laptop. All right, so... so let me go to my, e to my Facebook. And the reason I can't do it 
I, well, I mean, I can't do it because it's not my Facebook, but also I can't even figure out if the name's available. The reason it doesn't link is because I don't know where to link it because your Facebook name is going to change again. Once your Facebook is officially changed and completely changed for good, then I'll know where to link stuff. Okay, well, let me ask you another question real quick. When the people that I have managing my page wanted me to go on this guy's page to look at um, a page, every time I go into my Facebook business page, it brings up that guy's stuff instead of mine, and I can't get rid of it. I just think you're not clicking on your own picture or something, but let me know when you have Facebook up. I've got Facebook up. Okay, go to the top right. Because are you able to see my screen and your screen? No. Well, do a do a double screen so you can see what I'm doing. Um, I don't know how to do that. Let me do minus. Okay. I'll do I'm a good. minimize on yours and just make them to side by side or something. Um. Let's see. Or let me just, I mean, I don't know. How do you want me to help you? I'll create a separate video on how to do this and you can watch it. I mean, I can't get both screens up, sure. Okay, well, just watch mine for a minute. View options. Oh, wait, side by side mode, it says. Um. I'm ending the Facebook Live for right now. I don't know. I can't get it up. Just I go mean, back I to can't... Zoom. Go back to Zoom where you're watching my screen. All right. I'm on your screen. Can you see my Facebook? Yes. All right. So I'm going to, uh, what I want you to do, what I want you to do is just do this down arrow. And you want to go to your page, see how your pages show up? Yes. All right, so I would go to my home buying and selling, you go to your sell Stafford Lakes. Mm -hmm. Um. Here, my God. All right, what? The down arrow to my page. All right, which took me to my page. Now you're saying when you go to your page, you do not see your page like this. No, it comes up with some name of some guy and I have to go to the down arrow and click on my page to bring it up. Which it down arrow? Come up. This one? Does not come up. Yeah, but which down arrow? The one up on the right at the top. I have to actually go there and click on my page. Yeah, I did too, just now. No, but some other guy's page comes up, and it's the one they had me go to. Um, Probably just bringing up the most recent page visited until you went and selected a new but one. But I keep changing it to my name, and I, every time I come up, it keeps going back to this guy's name. I don't know if everybody's seen it that way is what I'm saying. I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to mess with it. We'll have to mess with it. But okay, so go to the down arrow, and where do I go to change it over on the side, the left? Well, you go to the down arrow, you choose your page, but so what if you have to change your page? It's not like you're editing your page every five seconds, but I mean, you can figure that out. We'll figure that out later. The point is just you select the page you want. Right. And you go to it. This is it, my page. This is my page. Right. So I'm going to click these little three dots. This is where you edit things. Okay. And you say edit page. And then I can edit that over there. And everything can be edited. And just put activeadult.com. If you don't see something initially, go down and do see all information. Okay. See all information will allow you to edit the page name. Okay, so I'm going to go in and edit it in a few minutes. So you need to make sure that when you edit it, it's something like, I don't know what you're going to edit it to. So you're going to edit it. Whatever you edit it to, I'm going to show you right now. Like. My name on my page is, uh, you need to edit the username. The username de defines and decides what the URL address of your Facebook business page is. Meaning, my username of my Facebook business page 
live in Old Town is what's showing up here. Facebook.com live in Old Town. This is the address I need to be able to paste to your review funnel to where people can go to the actual page. Okay. And right now they're going to sell Stafford Lakes or wherever, but it's just not working because it's, I'll tell you why it's not working now because it wasn't sell Stafford Lakes realty resource. It was the other name and we changed it to sell Stafford Lakes and I never edited the funnel. Oh, and so, but we just changed that, but now we're changing it again. So we need to just change it, leave it and be done with it. Okay. I'm going to change it and then copy the link at the top and send it to you. Yeah. The whole URL. I just, I'll, I, you don't even need to do that. Just say, what did you change your username to? All right. I'm going to do that. When you go to the edit on the username, you're going to have a choice right here. What do you want your username to be? Whatever you choose, it's going to tell you right away. Oh, that's available. Okay. You can do that. Oh, that's I'm going to try to do active adult home. Yeah. And so if that's not available, you might have to do active adult home resource. Okay. Active adult homes for sale. I noticed I, that's a popular one. So whatever it is, start it with active adult homes and then whatever, if it, once it allows you to make the change, just tell me what this username is and I'll make sure your funnel gets updated. Okay. Well, let me go do that now then while it's fresh in my mind. All right. And then you can just tell me and then we'll fix the review funnel, but at least they did it on the other sites. Yeah, and I will copy the Yelp one and put it on the page because I should have two now and I should have three by tomorrow. But I think it will motivate other people to do it too. Like Kathy closed the deal. She should have a review, you know? Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, let me go and do that then. Okay. Uh, okay. We'll review all the Facebook details and everything and what happened like tomorrow. We'll just go through and see like what it was. I mean, is that page up running? Because I don't think I could go through and redo all that stuff, Cheryl. It's so conf I'm so confused right now. I know. You really need someone to do your own Facebook page. Uh, you, you need to hire someone. That's, <laughs> you need to hire someone. You're not, the, you're not alone. You're not alone like that, but... Um, Ugh, all right. You mean as far as the Facebook ad? Yeah. Well, the Facebook ad hasn't been approved, hasn't been approved yet, and it's functioning, and it's going to your page. So, I mean, it's functional. It's functional. But it's not directed to Active Doll Home until I do that Facebook thing right now. That's just your client reviews. That's just like your clients told you they couldn't get to your Facebook page. I know, but I still need that for my page too, right? Your, your buyer funnel is working. Okay. It has nothing to do with your Facebook page. Okay. Your buyer funnel is working. Your seller funnel is working. Your Facebook page is separate. All right, let me correct that and then um, and your um, lead and your leads from your buyer funnel that the ad is about to be turned on as soon as they approve it is working. It just was going to your spam, which you just removed. You will get a lead. You will get an email. If someone clicks, you will get a lead and email. The only question is, is it going into your trash and you were just removed it? So it shouldn't be. Okay. All right. Well, let me fix my Facebook and then I'll go on from there. All right. Okay. All right. Thanks. Bye. Bye.